The doctor is in. Hi guys, it's Dr. Sal from DrSecrets.com. Thank you so much for joining in. Today we're going to take a look at what's inside your ear. If you've ever wondered why doctors use these tools called an otoscope to look into your ear, I'm going to show you exactly what we're looking for and what we're looking at. Well, first off, this is an example of a typical otoscope. This is a portable one. And what you'll see is that at the tip, there's a little introducer. That's what we use to insert into your ear. And the reason we use the introducer is because it would not be sanitary for us to use the same um, tip from one patient to the next. After that, you'll also notice that there is a light source. See that light there? It's a light source so that we can illuminate the contents of the ear. And then there's also a viewing uh, port. Turn it back on. Uh, you may not be able to appreciate that from here, but there's a magnifying glass here and a, and a port to look through, to look into a, an individual's ear. So that's the tool that we use for the journey to the center of the ear. And um, now what I'm going to do is actually show you what we're looking for and some of the most common uh, problems that we see using our otoscopes. So to begin this journey, I'm just gonna have to dim the lights and I'm gonna show you an illustration from um, blown up from this excellent uh, book here, DK Eyewitness Books, uh, Human Body. So I'm just gonna dim the lights. Hold on, here Kansas is about to disappear.
accumulation, over accumulation or zealous accumulation of wax in the, in the canal. And the reason your body produces that wax is pretty simple. Um, sometimes insects can make their way along here uh, and other intrusers and, or intruders, sorry. And the, the wax is kind of like a sticky um, medium that can trap any type of foreign agent that's trying to roll its way down towards your eardrum, the sensitive equipment here. So just like any good engineering system, you try to protect the sensitive equipment uh, by sequestering it away and putting booby traps around it. So that's the first most common thing that we see is these uh, wax plugs. And sometimes it can be pretty large. I, I've seen, seen some extracted, uh, whoops, the size of uh, the tip of my finger. I don't know if you can see that there. Now, moving on from the external ear. Oh, another common um, thing that we often see too, especially in swimmers and in summertime, is uh, something called otitis externa. What we mean by otitis externa is inflammation of this external canal. So water pours in, finds it, can't find its way back out, it stagnates in there and causes a bacterial infection just like a stinky pond. Now the middle ear, this is a bunch of gear systems here. So you have your uh, hammer, Inca stapes, and what these, um, what these little ossicles do, or bones, they're tiny little fine bones, uh, is they, when sound comes through this trumpet looking area here, it gets concentrated on the tympanic membrane, vibrates it, which in turn then vibrates these bones and through a gear mechanism, transfers the, the sound energy to this window here, which then leads to the inner ear. The inner ear then has this uh, folded up snail looking like uh, cochlea, which has a, a bunch of um, uh, sensory hairs in it that are attuned to different frequencies. And there's also fluid inside here that transmits the, um, the sound. It, it's really very remarkable. <laughs> um, then, then that sound energy through these little fine um, acoustic hairs is then transferred into electrical impulses, which are then transferred using a nerve into your brain. This other section here in the inner ear is the um, semicircular canals. It looked like a pretzel. And the reason for that pretzel appearance is they're basically, in science, uh, you'll see graphs where there's a X, Y, and Z coordinates. These are basically mimic mimicking that idea of three dimensionality. So, in balancing, you need a uh, X axis, a Y axis, and a Z axis uh, to determine whether you're moving forward, backward, or to the side. So nature cleverly provides
higher pressures, sorry, of the troposphere. Um, and a lot of that is uh, typically caused by dysfunction, what we call eustachian tube dysfunction. This area here cannot equilibrate pressures across this doorway here. This portocullis, the, the tympanic membrane, um, is unyielding. No air gets past it, or at least, or it may be able to diffuse, but that's a very, very slow process. There's no quick release system here. Any pressure that builds up inside this uh, cavity must be equilibrated through the eustachian tube. So if there's something going on in your nose, throat, sinuses, um, causing inflammation of the little, the little aperture where it enters into your throat, it will block this um, process and frustrate the equilibration of pressures. And what then that translates to is the feeling, a miserable feeling of uh, slight muffled hearing because these, these uh, bones can't move properly. And um, the drum is also frustrated from being able to vibrate. And uh, often people will notice that um, swallowing or yawning will cause a temporary pop and equilibration of pressures. That's just because when you swallow or yawn, your throat, uh, because of stretching, will, will temporarily um, cause the eustachian tube to, to temporarily pop open. And that's why the pressure uh, will go away uh, briefly. So I'm going to turn the lights back on now. Uh, that's basically a very brief 101 introduction to the contents of your ear and why we as physicians uh, take a look into your ear for complaints of trouble with balance um, or complaints of trouble with hearing or complaints of uh, pain, et cetera, et cetera. That's why we look in your ears. There's a lot of information in there. It may seem like a small cavity, but there's a lot happening inside there. A lot of very sensitive, very high-tech equipment. So thanks very much for watching and I uh, hope you have a great, terrific rest of your week. And uh, I'll upload some new stuff and new secrets uh, looking into our clinical lives uh, within the next week. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for watching. Get notified of new videos. Subscribe now.